Deborah Murphy here, this time in my very own home office, and today I'm joined over Skype by Lindsay Smith, Agriculture Industry Liaison with Lethbridge College. Hello, Lindsay. Hello. So, some exciting news out of Lethbridge College. Tell us about the Agriculture Business Risk Management Program. You bet. So, the Agriculture Business Risk Management Program was a collaboration uh, between the college and the industry and uh, is the, the first initiative of the Corvan Ray Southern Alberta Agribusiness degree. And so it started as a partnership between Alberta Cattle Feeders and Lethbridge College and we received funding from Alma. And in addition to that, we've had um, additional partners that have come on to support the program as well. So we've got uh, Alberta Barley, Wheat, Canola, um, Alberta Pork and Alberta Beef Producers, as well as AFSC. And so all of these have come on to support the program and um, really put their support behind the education of business risk management within agriculture. And uh, and the program, program is geared towards uh, students as well as to industry for, for, for professional development. Uh, and we've been able to do that by, by providing it as online programming. So tell us about some of the topics that you'll cover throughout the program. You bet. So the program is made up of 11 uh, courses, and within those courses, we've made it really accessible by breaking them down into modules, and a module is equivalent to one month of learning. So uh, a student would uh, start the module at the start of the month and be required to be done by the end of the month. And so those courses um, range anywhere from uh, communications and financial literacy through to uh, market tools, understanding the tools that are available uh, to producers, uh, as well as we go through and uh, look at risk tolerance and risk policy. And um, and then we have a couple of capstone courses as well that will deal with uh, market equity and um, successful planning in agriculture. So for those of us who aren't in school anymore, is it possible to kind of pick and choose which modules we take? You bet. Because we want to focus on that and target the professional development, uh, you have the flexibility to take all of the courses. So all the modules within the courses, if you successfully complete them, would give you a uh, credential of academic achievement from Lethbridge College. Uh, However, we also want to have that flexibility for professional development. So if there's only specific modules that you're interested in, uh, you can just access the ones that you require. So it's kind of different probably for those of us who would be um, working online from outside of the college and those students that are taking it. So how does the timeline work for the different modules? You bet. So this course is fully online. It is um, not offered at the at the campus right now. So all students would be taking it online. So there's no uh, geographical limitations to that. You can take it anywhere. Um, and as I mentioned, the modules are broken, or so the courses are broken down into modules, which are one month of learning. So uh, that's estimated to be about three to five hours per week plus self study. Uh, and so essentially, what you do is you enroll. Uh, for the following month, and you would uh, start or have access to that online course uh, the first of the month and work your way through the curriculum. There would be some assessments uh, that will be required throughout the month, and then um, everything would need to be completed by the end of the month. Should producers even consider taking it? Oh, you bet. This is um, when we visioned and worked with industry um, on building this program, we visioned who uh, the program would target. And so we looked at it and said that this um, is for primary producers and managers, um, owners of businesses, um, but as well can target in, uh, we looked at professional development from an agribusiness standpoint, whether that be in sales and service uh, or from a, a financial lending, accounting, um, and even government um, was targeted as well. Are there any entrance requirements to take modules in the course? Yeah, so the um, entrance requirements is for a high school diploma to take the um, to take the modules. So if you're interested in taking a few modules, you can apply or sorry, enroll with Lethbridge College through Open Studies, um, and that would be a high school uh, diploma. And um, if you're interested in the full program and receiving the the certificate, then you can apply to um, be in the program, and uh, and that would just be done with the the registrar's office as well. And are there any kind of system requirements that we'd need to to work on it from our home office? 
they're pretty basic as far as, like I said, because they're online, obviously you need to have the ability uh, to connect to the internet. Um, but as far as the specific computer requirements, they're pretty um, standard to what everybody would have. Uh, when you enroll in the courses, you will be given um, specific instructions uh, as to what the uh, requirements are for each of the courses. Most of the materials um, are going to be found on the learning management platform system, so that's called Canvas. Uh, so most of the curriculum is found there. There are required readings that will be um, that will link you to specific web pages, um, and then there's a few of the courses that require uh, textbooks, and so those would be up to the student whether to purchase those uh, textbooks for the courses. For sure. So, how much would it end up costing? Uh, maybe even per module or for the whole course, would we get? Would you get a discount as opposed to doing a per module basis? Mm -hmm. So each of the modules costs $183, uh, and then we have the two capstone courses at the end, which really uh, what they do is they help you to apply the concepts and skills that you've learned along the way throughout the modules. And so because those are capstones, we put them in a case study setting, and instead of them running for one month, they run for four months, and so the cost of those are $723. So um, $183 per module, 723 for the two capstone courses. And then if you wanted to take all of them and get the certificate, roughly it's just under uh, $7,000 for the uh, certificate. Okay, so how do people find out more and, and just remind us again about how we can register for, for a module? You bet. So all of the complete information on the program is available on the Lethbridge College website. So it's www.lethbridgecollege.ca. Uh, slash BRM. Uh, and so all of that detailed information about why the program was uh, built, who it targets, and, and uh, what the curriculum looks like can be found there. Uh, to enroll, it would be a matter of contacting the registrar's office um, during business hours, and you can enroll uh, by phone uh, or by mail. And um, there's two ways to enroll. You can do uh, first is by open studies. And so that's a fairly straightforward process where you would contact the registrar's office and asked to um, enroll in modules for the business risk management program as an open study student. Um, and that's a um, one conversation that would take place. Uh, if you are wanting to enroll into the program, uh, then you would contact the registrar's office and apply to the program first. Once your um, acceptance has been uh, received for um, the program, they would send you a letter of offer, you would accept that, and then you would call back into the registrar's office to enroll into the specific module. So applying to the program is a two-step process. Uh, going in through Open Studies is a one-step process. Right on. Lindsay Smith, thank you so much for joining us today. Excellent. Thank you. Take care.